Hello friends, this is Shravan. This is my YouTube channel, Civil Engineering by Shravan. To subscribe my channel, click on subscribe button and click on bell icon for more interesting updates. In this video, I will explain you three-story building design by using ETAP software part one. In this video, I will cover the concept which is related to modeling part. So in my upcoming video, I will explain you design part for this respected tutorial. So initially, I will show you the plan for the respected three-story house. Select this respected PDF option. So this is my uh, plan for this respected three-story house. So it will be consisting of double bedroom hall kitchen portion. So this is the plan for this respected house. I will attach this respected house plan in description. Please download the plan from the description. So this is the living and this is the dining hall. This is the puja room. This is the kitchen. This is the master bedroom. This is the children bedroom. This is the staircases. So this plan will be in north facing direction. The road was towards the north facing direction for this respected house. For this respected plan, it will be consisting of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Total number of columns equals to 12 for this respected house. Now I will model this respected house by using ETAP software. So for that initially we need to minimize this respected option. So select your ETAP software. So select ETAP 2016 version software. The software will be opened like this. So initially we need to select file option here. Click on new model here. So here we need to select the initialization options as third one, use built-in settings. So in this we need to select the IS code initially. So here I am selecting IS code and units will be in SI system and we need to select the steel design code is IS 800-2007. Again I am selecting IS 456-2000 code for concrete design code. Click on OK. So after that we need to select the grid dimensions as well as story dimensions here. So as per my assumption, just I am taking number of lines will be consisting of 4 in x direction condition. Number of lines in y direction will be consisting of 3 and each spacing will be consisting of just I am taking it as 3 and 3. So after that we need to change the center to center distance between the column with the help of custom grid spacing option here. So here I am selecting custom grid spacing option. Click on edit grid data. So here we need to select this respected options. So here I am assuming x coordinate distance first will be consisting of 4 meter. Again I am selecting second will be consisting of 4 plus 3 which is approximately equal to 7. Again I am taking last will be consisting of 10 here. So after that we need to assume the y coordinate distance just I am taking first one will be consisting of 3 meter. Again I am selecting second one will be consisting of 4 meter. So after that click on OK button. Now we need to select the story data here. So initially I will create the ground story for this respected three story house initially. So here I am selecting number of stories are 1 and the typical story height just I am assuming it as 3 meter and the bottom story height is also 3 meter. Now here we need to select the grid only option from this respected add structural objects. Select grid only option. Click on OK. Now it will show you the grids like this. So it will be consisting of 4 number of grids in x direction distance and 3 number of grids in y direction distance. So after selecting the grids, we need to define the material properties. So here we need to define the grade of concrete as well as grade of steel initially. So click on define option. So here we need to select the material properties option. So initially I will select add new material here. So here we need to select the region. So here I am selecting it as Indian standard system and the material will be of concrete system. So here I am considering Indian system which is consisting of M30 grade concrete. Click on OK. So after that we need to select one more material which is consisting of steel section. Click on add new material. So here I am selecting Indian. Again we have to select the steel material here. So here I am selecting FE 345 initially. Click on OK. So after that we need to change this respected material name. As per our assumption just I am say changing it to 500 grade. So after that we need to change the values of this respected values. So select your respected modify show material properties. Now we need to change this respected yield strength value to 500. Again we have to change the tensile strength also 500. Click on OK. Click on OK. So after that click on OK option. So after that we need to define the beam size and column size for this respected building. So select your define option. Select your section properties. Now we need to select here as frame models. So initially we need to delete all selected parameters here. So here I am selecting this respected option, click on delete option, yes option, again I am selecting delete. 
so after that we need to add a new property click on add new property here so here i am selecting concrete section so here we need to select the property name just i am considering it as 0.23 cross 0.3 is my beam size now we need to select the materials as m30 grade concrete here so after that we need to select the depth of the beam as well as width of the beam just i am considering depth of the beam will be consisting of 300 mm again i am selecting 230 mm for the width of the beam now we need to select this respected reinforcement select your modify rebar now here we need to select this respected m3 design only for the beam sections so after that we need to select the top and bottom cover so here i am assuming it as 50 mm again i am selecting it as 50 mm click on ok click on ok so after that we need to select the steel section click on delete property click on delete property click on s button so after that we need to define the column size select your add new property select rectangle again again i am selecting column which is of 0.3 cross 0.3 Again, I am selecting this respected value as 300. Again, I am selecting this respected width also 300. So, select your modify show rebar values here again. So, here we need to select this respected values of the cover and the number of bars along 3 direction and number of bars along 2 direction. So, here I am selecting it as 3. Again, we have to select this respected longitudinal bar size and area and the corner bar size area. So, here I am selecting it as 16 mm for the longitudinal bars again i am selecting 20 mm bars for the corner bars so after that we need to select the containmental bar size nothing but your stirrups so here i am selecting it as 10 mm click on ok so after that click on ok option select ok option so after defining the beam size as well as column size we need to define the slab thickness so for that initially go to define option select your section properties here we need to select the slab section so initially we need to select this respected uh, plank one click on delete option click on s button so after that we need to add the new property of slab section so here we need to give the name just i'm assuming it as s125 now we need to select the material as m30 grade and a thin shell just we need to assume this respected value as 125 mm click on add button so after the select the slab one click on delete property option click on s button click on ok so after defining the beam size column size as well as slab thickness we need to assign those properties for this respected grid lines so for that we need to select this respected selection option quick draw beams option select this respected quick draw option so here we need to select the properties whether it was selected with the beam or column section so here we need to select as beam sections initially now we need to drag to the respected plan section so it will draw the respected beam section for this respected building like this so after that we need to select the i section for assigning the column section so here we need to select the property as a column section column 0 0.3 cross 0 0.3 again we have to draw this respected column to the building like this so after that we need to assign the slab for this respected section now we need to select this respected option so we could draw floors now we need to select this respected property option we need to change the property from deck to s125 option again in the similar way we need to drag to the left hand side section so it will assign this respected properties for this respected building like this now i will show you this respected model in rendering view so for that initially we need to select this respected right mark option set display option here select this respected option now here we need to select the object fields option extrude frames extrude shells apply to all windows apply ok so this is my model for the respected ground story now we need to create remaining two stories for this respected ground story with the same size of beam size and same size of column size and same size of slab thickness so for that select this respected add modify grids here so select your story data click on modify story data here so initially we need to add two more stories select add story so clip existing story height click on add option so here we need to add uh, existing story number of stories to be added as two which is consisting of three meter for each story click on ok so it will add two more stories for this respected sections like this so click on ok so click on ok here so it will draw this respected stories like this left hand side section which will be consisting of the plan view and this is the right hand section which will be consisting of the 3d view for this respected three story house 
so this is the modeling for for this respected house for the respected three story house so in my upcoming video i will explain you how to apply the load cases for this respected building by using etap software how to define the load cases how to define the seismic load how to define the beam load how to define the dead load condition and how to apply this load cases and how to take the load combinations for this respected three story house by using etap software thank you